Today we're going to continue our discussion on similarity by learning two new theorems for today. The first one is called angle-angle, or for short, AA, similarity theorem. And what that tells us is that if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then that means that the two triangles are similar. So I see here, ABC would be similar to DEF because B is congruent to E, which I know because of the two arc marks, and A is congruent to D, which I know because they both have one arc mark. And so I can actually write a similarity statement from here. And that would look like ABC, similar to triangle. And then I need to make sure I do the correct order here. So A is congruent to D, so I need to make sure that's the first letter. B is congruent to E, so I need to make sure that's the second letter. And then that just leaves F. So let's go through some examples. So for this first set of examples, I want to determine whether the triangles are similar. If they are, I'm going to write a similarity statement. Again, you really need to be careful with the order of your letters. And then explain your reasoning. Okay, so looking at number one, I see I have two right triangles. So right off, I already know that two angles are definitely congruent. And, I, and those angles are angle D is congruent to angle G. The reason why I know they're congruent, because they're both right angles. They have the same measure. That means they're congruent. Now, I know 26 and 64, those aren't the same. So C isn't congruent to H. But I don't know the measure of angle E or the measure of angle K. So I'm going to find the measure of angle E, and I'm really looking to see if E is going to end up equaling 64. Because if it does, that means I have two angles that are congruent, which automatically means it's similar by that theorem we just learned. Well, I know that all the angles in a triangle add up to 180, so to find measure of angle E, I can just do angle E plus 26 plus right angle is just 90 degrees is equal to 180. Well, 26 plus 90, I get 116. Subtract 116 from both sides. And I get the measure of angle E is equal to 64. And so I see I did get the measure I wanted. They're both equal to one another. And so that means that angle E is congruent to angle H. So since I have two angles congruent to two other angles in a triangle, that automatically means these two triangles are similar. So I have triangle C, D, E is similar to triangle, and again, I need to do these in order. So C, that would be congruent to K. D is congruent to G. And then H. And my reasoning is by the angle-angle similarity theorem. Okay, now let's try number two. This one looks a little bit different. So here I can actually separate this into two different triangles. So I have my smaller triangle AVE. And that's the angle measure of 52. And then I have the larger triangle DCA. And I see the angle C is also equal to 52 degrees. So I automatically see I have one congruent angle, B, angle A, B, E, is congruent to angle A, C, D. So now I need to see if I have a, another angle that's congruent. Well, I see they both share the angle A. The top of both of these triangles are actually the same angle. And since they're the same angle, 
are automatically going to be congruent to one another. So that means I have one, two congruent angles. So I can say these are similar. So triangle ACD is similar to triangle ABE by angle angle similarity theorem. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. I want you to try number three. So the answer you should have gotten here was not similar. When I solved for the measure of angle Y, I got 60 degrees. And so that means that these two triangles, they only have one congruent angle of 21. Since 60 was not 61, this isn't going to be similar.